What do you think of this piece, Geo? Is that cute or what? Looking forward to your feedback, Sunshine. I wonder if I should put flowers here on on the on the trees or not. Love the koi fish. Me too, me too. They're pretty cute though. They actually are pretty cute. A lot of decks, much more forest for Kai, Mayoshi, Machine Gear. Actually, none of them sound familiar to me. But do you mind sharing the playlist? The genre seems like something that I enjoy myself, so like my, I might as well take a take a gander. Don't like the amount of turkeys. Huh? Right. What's uh? What's that word? Do you got a a little bit more um? You know, strangers friendly English. Yo, thank you for the for the playlist. Uh, Voodoo. I'll take a look at it after the stream. Blue green shade. You don't like the amount of that color, but that's kind of like the point, though. Hey, Leo. It's going quite cute today. I'm pretty, pretty happy to be streaming today, honestly. Working on this piece, treating it like it's a personal piece, and uh, quite enjoy myself doing so. All right, you don't like the blue-green shade. Like, do you not like the color yourself, or like, what's the... Like, do you not know, like the color itself? Like, what's the deal? Or like the usage of it? Alright, let's get rid of the, the thing in the middle. The usage? Hmm. All right. What would you say? How would you help it? That's the. I don't disagree with you. I just don't know what to. Mm. Like I would say that I I I'm not a huge fan of how the colors are turning out here. Abuse the fact that it's in the water and pull some light rays. She's not under water though. That's the thing, she is not. The fishes are supposed to be like holographic or something. She wouldn't be standing like that underwater, and her hair would not be like that un underwater as well. Yo, Dimes, thank you for the sub. Thank you, thank you, Sunshine. It's not underwater, man. It's not underwater. Yo, Dimes, what made you sub today? Thanks a lot, though, but I'm just curious. Yeah, and thank you for the follow, Udo Kick. Thank, thank you. Spirit Realm, perhaps something like that. I mean, yeah, it's like the a little bit something surreal, basically. Oh, how about we bring this like this saturated, almost violet color here? No booba drawing. Well, it's pretty booba drawing if you look at if you look here though. Control you. Oh, 
No, 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 that's not how you come up with uh, interesting colors, though, unfortunately. You know what I found recently? Like, honestly, the only way you're able to come up with colors you like is just through manually doing those. Not even with uh, adjustment layers. It's just, you know, picking them manually. You like how the clothes work here? Thank you. It, it's they're not done by any means, by the way. It's just like first draft. I'm just firstly I'm mostly focused on the overall piece and how it works together. I mean, colors are not there. Geo is correct. I don't know how to treat them though. I do like that you're honest, Geo. Like, if you don't like something, you don't like you don't let me get me to get away with it. You're letting me know right away. get away because you can take an opinion yeah well dude you i think you're supposed to know how to do that as an artist like if you're not able to take feedback from people then what you're what are you doing like the computer but also sometimes you gotta let the person go and see what happens in the end true true Not for em from everyone. I think you the the best thing is to listen to what per person has to say, to think about it, to evaluate it, and then decide for yourself if you're going to change anything or not. EO58 is following. Um, hello. Huh? Wait, was it just me? Am I hallucinating? Huh? Have you guys seen that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? Hey, yo. Yo, you're my like biggest inspiration. Homie made his entrance and left, dude. Hello, my heart is like literally pumping right now. I mean, I guess it's a fish eye lens perspective that uh, brings in the, the artist's dreams come true, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah, I do need to... I'm like sub to him, but because uh, somebody gifted me a sub. True story, I was sub to EO by myself. He was like the first ever artist or like Twitch streamer I've ever sub to. But then they... Uh, whenever they banned... Um... um PayPal in Russia. I wasn't able to continue my sub, unfortunately. <laughs> I 
I wonder if you recognize recognize the um, the design on the um, on the pants because some part of it is is I wouldn't say taken from his uh, painting, but it, the inspiration was uh, one of his arts. I wonder how do uh, like big artists feel whenever they just go around like Twitter or Instagram and they see a painting that was like clearly uh, to make that artist was clearly using their painting as a reference. I wonder how how they feel. Is this something that you know they don't like or like they take pride in it? I also think that I went a little bit too much on those uh, cyan strips here. I would want for them to be like kind of perhaps in this corner, and this will be like very busy corner of her leg. But then the, the inner part of it will be kind of more chill. You would feel honored. Mm. Yeah, but would you not feel like they're stealing your work? Like, if that, for example, was a pose that you, like, work hard on or something, all the composition that you kind of made yourself and you were, and you've been very proud of it, and then all of a sudden it's kind of stolen from you. I mean, I'm not talking, like, ex an exact copy, but just something that was inspired. I mean, I don't mind sharing this, all right. Um, where, where was it? So the inspiration for her uh, costume design is this. It's just, this is Eos drawing, painting, uh, I'd say. You can see how like it literally inspired me, but it's not the same. Not by any means. And uh, I wonder if he recognized that. As someone who has no digital footprint, uh, I've had my work blaggerized. It's always funny and confusing because you're doing it yourself. Hmm, I see what you mean. Reference starting from master is, is a complicated subject. I've only, uh, honestly, I found that no matter how close I try to follow the reference, it's never exactly the same. So I wouldn't say that I've ever copied anybody. Not to the extent where it, it would have been obvious. That's for sure. Yours better? <laughs> All right. Thank you, but I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm definitely excited to work on this, though. Like, I want for... Uh, there is a lot of rendering I can do here on the, on the costume itself. I'm just trying to kind of build up the, the base for now. Perhaps, all right, sunshine. I have uh, an interesting idea. You kind of you see the layers to the to her leggings. What if we, what if we feel extra cute today and we bring in another color into those? I don't know about the exact color, but let's just let's just try something new. I've got an idea of what if it would be a uh, skin showing through. Just a just a little bit of skin. It might be a bit too much though.
like increasing the, the contrast in the middle of the canvas. Hmm. You mean you probably like increasing it near to the um the center of composition, I would assume. Right, about red perhaps. Mm, would would red work here? I don't think like that I want to bring red here. I want for that to be uh no no no, it, it's not red, definitely. Any suggestions, Sunshines? Any suggestions for what color you'd want to see here? Lavender? I mean, I'm afraid to make it like another color. You know, this painting is already all over the place. It's not like I, I can just pop something out of my ass. I, it has to be something that already exists here within the piece. Same red. It would look nice, but it, you see the composition wise and it really wouldn't work. I like how um how like composition wise, if you take a look at it, it kinda, you know, circles around her, the reds. With the the fish and the the katana thing. Yellow? Hey, Crayon. Um, yellow? That's like totally... Totally out of nowhere. Perhaps this is what we need, though. Hot as steak? Yeah. I mean, yellow is just out of another universe here. Oh, yeah. Ah. Uh. What is this color? Dude, who came up with that color, by the way? Kind of don't like... Mm. Perhaps we should first kind of decide on the value of it, and then the color would kind of come second. Ooh, what if we make it like the brightest part of the piece, by the way? Since the piece is pretty dark overall... What if, we, what if we are courageous enough to make it very bright? Clear green breeze, the background. I don't know. I mean, that kind of does work, but it's... Alright, that doesn't work for sure. You like the bright value? Yeah, me too. It's kind of like glowing through. Well, perhaps we'd actually do use that. Increase the contrast a lot, which means introducing more shadow to the character bust. So, for that Voodoo Kick, I have, like, like, I have my kind of own approach, or, like, n not an approach, or even, like, a vision of what I want to do with my contrast, colors, and values. And it kind of goes the opposite way. Like, I don't want to create contrast with shadow, if that makes sense. I don't even know how to describe it. It's, like, there's a specific art style that I'm going for, or rather, like, the render style that I'm going for. And it doesn't have, you know, very deep contrast between shadow and light. That's the thing. Uh, meets a trade bright orange. Orange would be out of nowhere, though. I'm like, I will think about it more. I'm feeling like just filling out this part, those parts for now. I kind of do like this color, by the way. 
maybe you could add some lines coming from the suit going from fish to give the impression that the clothes are making the hologram fish um i was going to make fish like somewhat transparent in certain parts and kind of like uh fade away in all right, let me try that. That's actually way simpler. Ooh, look at that. Look at that pink color. Dude. Fuck, that looks so good. Too bad it's like out of nowhere. We would, you know, the problem is that we would have to bring this pink else there. That's the problem. It can't, it can't really exist only there. Oh, this is also nice. A peach color. Ooh, sunshine, so I'm, I'm liking that. And this color, we can also bring... Um, where was it? Yeah, the... What was the word again? Peelons? Peedles? Wait a second. Petals, oh. Yeah, petals. You can have like petals going on everywhere. What do you think? Oops. That might be just a little bit too much. Right, we can. Uh... So I've created a mask, and I'm kind of masking a little bit of it to create a sense of glow. So you see, in a sense, I'm kind of going against the, like the general idea of her lighting. Like she's being lit where the, the darker shadow is supposed to be, which kind of creates this effect of underglow, which I absolutely adore. Alright, let's commit. Let's go. Let it go. This is what we like to see. We like to commit. We don't like to think for too long, you know? From your perspective, I'm seven hours in the past. Uh, it's, it's like eight in the morning for you all. Oh. Yeah. And from your perspective, I'm seven hours in the future. So... From uh, a take from a person from a future, it's all cool there. Don't stress about it. Nothing, nothing ever happens seven, seven hours uh, ahead. It's it's all fine. Yeah, as you can see, sunshine. I don't like to think about my decisions very much. This is how I go about doing art and how I go about life in general. If something works, immediately commit and just go forward to it. By the way, the only reason it is ab able to work like that is because the cyan here is so desaturated. If only it was a little bit more saturated, ain't no way it would have worked. By the way, I don't like the ain't no way mode. It looks stupid, but I like the, how it sounds like ain't no way. It does sound like very uh, expressive. Like you're so surprised by uh, what just happened. <laughs> Dude, I do enjoy this painting now. Remember how I told that I don't like how it works out altogether? I do like how it works out now. It's like got a an interesting thing going on for it. Although now I would want for fish to be uh, 
a little bit kind of a little bit more subtle. I don't want for it to drive too much attention to itself. Maybe have less hues variation in it or something. Yeah, fish, you you, you calm down for now. Wait, do we, do we make fish glow this color as well? Well, that's kind of... This fish has, has become evil now. <laughs> that's an evilish fish. I love this color so much. It's oversaturated peach color. So cool. Evil fish. <laughs> what if you make like I almost blend into the skin? How about that? How does that sound, Sunshine? Um. Hey Rod, dude, the stream is going absolutely cute today. We had the highlight of the day was Eo following me. Dude, imagine that my literal art hero, the my biggest inspiration for the past year and a half has followed my Twitch stream. That is like insane. Aren't I too far away from each other? They might be, uh, and I do that on purpose. I don't know, do they look like they are too far away for you? Because I kind of like how eyes do look now. Yeah, how about we make the eye blend into the skin? I don't know, so sounds weird, but... What if you actually do that? That must be huge. It, that is huge. They're just, I don't know, envision the the person that you're looking up to the most in your life, who you like praise, and uh, you study their art all the time, and there you have them following you back, hello? She has fish eyes. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's fish eye lens, we fish, we fish eye. <laughs> Got that a little bit fishy. Sounds fishy here. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what Eo has thought. I mean, I, I definitely know that he hangs out in other streams, like not a lot, but just a little bit. How about to pull off Keegan make the camera a fish? The perfect fish high lens, huh? If you pull off, oh, oh Kim Jong-gi in the camera. I kind of didn't get the joke there. I almost got it, but I didn't get it uh, entirely.
<laughs> Sorry, my, my English isn't there to understand all the playing with wars yet. It will get there though. Dude, I remember how difficult it was for me starting out streaming. Even like streaming, which was a couple of months ago. I was so stressed out just simply by the fact that I have to speak English. And now I don't even think about it anymore. I mean, I, I do constantly make um, mistakes, you know, then constru constructing my sentences, but I'm kind of fine with it now. Where I'm from, <laughs> we had this conversation earlier today. And we uh, came to the conclusion that I should say that I'm from Georgia. Although that's like where I only live right now. And I, uh, initially I'm from, uh, from Russia. Living in Georgia currently though, it's, it's pretty cute in here. Do they have like bread the size of your, uh, the size of your body here? And people just buy it and eat it. I'm not even kidding you, I've seen like a kid who bought a piece of bread and it's literally like a, a size of half of him. He was just going around on the street eating it. Just the bread itself with like no... Um, there's like nothing in it, nothing on top of it, nothing to give it a taste. It's just bread. I mean it's kind of warm and fluffy and you know a little bit salty. But still, though, it's so bland. Like, what are you doing eating? A... <laughs> a Loki, the bread looking giga lush. <laughs> yeah, the, the bread is. Some curry sauce in the mm -hmm. You do that if the bread is good? Dude, uh, let me. Uh, let me pull up the. Um, where was the picture? You'll be able to compare it to the size of my hand, which is also in the picture itself. Like, I can get behind a lot of stuff. But this, this thing is massive. This is like crazy huge. Yo, Kirtan, thank you for the follow. I mean, it, uh, it's crispy on the inside. It, uh, on the outside, it's it's soft on the inside. It's it's tasty, dude. <laughs> no, you make me want to buy it again. It also costs nothing. That man. <laughs> Maybe you have tiny hands. My hands are not too big, but they're they're also not as not too tiny. I mean, the bread itself, it's like. Two times of your head. It's just something. Right, why did I start on the bread? Telling about the Georgia or what? Dude, sometimes I do want to buy this, like, a pastry or thing like that and just enjoy it. But I also kind of want to avoid flower things altogether. Probably hold Wacom pen with both hands. Dude, you know what's even funnier and uh, the fun part is that it is, it is true? That my high on pen has to get charged. It's a rechargeable pen and sometimes it goes out of battery and I have to charge it. <laughs> Kinda looks like food from where... from here where I live. Perhaps you're a Georgian man. No, I'm not kidding. I have a rechargeable stylus. Yo, Annie, share your latest artwork. Any of you all are waiting for your latest free painting. I mean, hopefully it's safe for work, so we can uh, open it on stream.
Yeah, player. Stop bully? Yo, I'm not bullying her. I'm not. I was literally complimenting her works last time. I was impressed by her, her art. She's a she's an an VIP of the of the stream. That's why we give her a little bit more attention than usual. And by the way, I'm not done with the with the orange part of the of the outfit. It's just I'm just taking my time to render the face. Really? Yeah, really. I mean, I'm sorry if I came off as like as uh as that I'm trying to make fun of you. That was never my intent. I mean, I'm playing with you a bit, but it's just it's all good fun. Totally? Really? No, I think I think I'm fine. I think I'm uh, keeping that balance. Yeah, yeah, you can send it to my Discord. I'm not even kidding, dude. I'm. Uh... If you want, of course. It just any you get the. This special opportunity of uh, sharing your art, it, it being reviewed on, on on the stream. I've just randomly chosen you for that role. <laughs> Crime to use a rechargeable pen. Yeah. <laughs> My worst nightmare is that I start the stream and it just goes out of charge immediately. Or like somebody big is ra Like imagine EO raiding me and then my pen goes out of charge. <laughs> oh man, it would have been a tragedy. Dude, any that that is what we like to see. Right, Sunshines, take a look. Take a look at that artwork. Dude, no joke, you are actually pretty good any I love the like I swear I've been to your stream like have you been grinding like non-stop since then you, you haven't been doing that good when I was in, at your stream like a couple of months ago this is like very nice the usage of color is like it's crazy how saturated but you get away with it quickly it's very light this is sick look at the uh... Uh, the saturated outline. There's like some Krenzas techniques here. That is very nice. The only thing that, you know, kind of stands out to me um, is that it's all warm. It doesn't have any like blue counterparts to it, like cold counterparts to it. So what I wanted to do is, you know, Eventually, is to add like some, um, oh, how is it called, bounce light. But it's like there will be no such light in the with this background. So I don't know. It'll look, just a little bit colder than that. But even here, you have the bounce light going on. It's just warm bounce light. Yeah, that's a. Uh, that's a very cool painting, can you? That's very cool. I rated 69 out of 69. It, it's very nice. Good work. Yeah, hi Erica. <laughs> 420 out of 69. XP pen deco zero one v two XP Hmm. 
I mean, that looks exactly like my tablet, but kind of... I mean, that does look exactly like mine. How much are they? Uh, it doesn't even say. About a hundred? That's a lot, dude. I can live for a week on a hundred dollars. You know how much bread like that you can buy? <laughs> Best tablet can withstand my range really well. <laughs> I have that. Deco Pro Media is better. But you don't have to recharge the pen. Yeah, not like it bothers me a lot though. Well, just to be uh, to be completely clear with you, you have to recharge it like once a month for like a half an hour or so, and then it's good for like the rest of the month, or even a couple of months. With me like drawing for uh, ten hours a day, like can you really complain about that? Sometimes it even feels healthier, you know, whenever it just randomly goes out of charge and you're like, oh well, I guess I'm uh, taking a... I guess I'm taking a break from work for today. It's just another excuse. How big is my regular canvas size? Uh, usually it's 4K by like 5, 4 by 5K. I, I'm trying to use, to work in that um, resolution lately. Wait, was it right now? Yeah, it's 4 by 5K. Just because it, it works for Instagram the best, 4 by 5. If there was a donate button, I would have sent them out for the tablet right now. You serious? <laughs> I guess I gotta work out the, the donation button. Does it trigger you so much, the fact that I have to charge? <laughs> Honestly, uh, like, as much as I would want for it not to be charged, I kind of want to see how far I can get along with this $50 rechargeable pen tablet. Uh, also, another thing that I'm out of, um, the tap pins, uh, the pen tips, like the, the edges for those, or like, I don't know how you call them. The, the little thing which is uh, on top on, of the of your pen, you know how it um, just degrades slowly with you drawing, and mine is also almost like pretty done. And this is the last the last one I have, <laughs> so I'll have to figure out something about it pretty soon. What do you think of, of her face, by the way, Sunshines? I think it's coming out pretty nice. I don't have a reference for the face. I usually don't use the reference for the face. It's just something that I enjoy kind of... I do enjoy giving my character's personalities by myself. I don't like how if you use a reference, it's often, you know, kind of transcends them. Or rather, like you copy the personality from your reference, which I don't really like. It's way better to have an overall understanding of the face, and even if you like struggle with it, even if it's like harder. It's not very pretty, or like any. Thank you. Well, speaking about like who is um, 
who is bullying who here. A not very pretty face, all right, all right. Oh, yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. This was, that would have been funny, though. Like, for many, I would have been able to accept that. Let's see it was a blank for... Oh, a blank for huge? Do you mean the um, the commission site? Any co yeah, any is fighting back. What was it? Commissions? Uh, huge commissions? How did it go? I remember not having much success with that uh, with that platform. And what did you draw for your uh, huge auction? I think that for a huge, your idea has to be like, has to stand out a lot for people to buy it. Display tablet? No, no, I use a, a graphic tablet. Do, do, would you think that a display tablet? Wait, is that the same thing? I mean, this display tablet isn't it the this one with the screen? I'm sorry, I, I'm just always confused by the the names of those. Oh, it's the one with the screen? Okay. No. Would you think that one with the screen would have a, a rechargeable pen? <laughs> that would have been a tragedy. Recharge is pixel. Yeah. It's like having a 4k monitor and it having like not an hdmi um port or like what's the new one the the, the better one the one after hdmi i forgot having the old one with like uh things to what's even the word for it you had to do the thing for it to stick there The parts you had to twist to, for them to go in to connect to your monitor. Hamster running in evil to turn the brightness of my. <laughs> yeah, or that. That would also be a great analogy. Running hamster for your uh, power supply in, in PC.
Yeah, I like how now character stands out from the background. It was blading in before. And to be, to be quite honest with you, I'm not uh, not against that. I do like character blending in a bit, but perhaps it was just a bit too much. Now it's better though. Dude, we have EO58 following us. Let's go. That's like getting a, getting uh, your parents' approval in your 20s or something. Like, that's huge. On the other hand, uh, that was like the highest point my stream could ever gr grow into. So it's going to only to go downwards from here. It's only going to get worse. <laughs> yeah, now I have to quit streaming. But honestly, I sometimes uh, feel that way. It also, um, I recently was on World of Warcraft streamer stream, and that guy always like takes takes uh, like years of streaming, and then he comes back. Gman Gaming, thank you for the for the follow. Uh, like so that guy is like crazy inconsistent and he has some mental issues and he was talking about the actual same thing that I was experiencing experiencing is like it is fear of not stating to your own expectations so he was literally instead of just being a consistent uh, successful streamer he would like go on like crazy stream um, stream streaks he would like stream for like 12 hours every day for a couple of weeks he would get very popular but then he would quit and he would be afraid to come back because you know you can't really grind like that for you know forever but he was afraid not to reach the same level where he was before that so like you're afraid of failing and there so you don't even participate which is kind of you know it kind of means that you're failing but in your head, it's like justified. I mean, I don't know. It's like a weird mental thing, and I've definitely had that before with streaming as well. Even though, like, it might be, it might sound funny for you. Like, why would you ever had that? You're like nowhere yet. But I had that when after Cynix's raid, whenever there was like 30 people watching my stream for the first time, and I was afraid that. The next day I would turn on the stream and nobody will show up. Show up. <clears throat> Which was the case, because a single raid doesn't do anything. But it's still like, it's not a... Not a, an excuse not to stream. I don't know. It's funny what your mind is, al is able to come up with on, on its own. <laughs> if you get your thoughts get out of control. Love this song, by the way. It just right amount of like being ener energetic and not annoying at the same time. Very nice. It's also like ten minutes long. It just goes and goes. It never stops. Like a cat gem essence.
By the way, it's funny how uh, I ended up like not working on my commission today at all, even though that's like literally my first ever priority to just wo work on my commission works. <laughs> oh man. Although I'm somewhat confident that I'll be able to fix.